Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's going to be time for some Europa Universals for as Great Britain in our uh, Rural Britannia campaign. Last we left off, we have uh, Disaster with the Burgers. Looks like they're going to be having some sort of a revolution pretty soon. Um, we might have to revoke some land, actually. Unless an event happens within the next two years, we may have to revoke some land. We're going to be taking some... Um, We're going to be taking some ideas here, or some technology. We're going to be getting up to level 20 technology. Um, I was contemplating a war with the Ottomans for the rest of Egypt. Um, I'd be taking, let's see, Buhara, uh, Algarbia, Shakira, Cairo, the Suez, Sinai, and then um, Ras Garib. And then we'd continue conquering the Memluks in 1660, or alternatively... We send an army and a navy to India <clears throat> um, to actually conquer over here. We could take the Maldives. We could probably take over all of Ceylon, and we'd have to probably vassalize the rest of this guy. Actually, using a vassal to conquer down here in India would actually be super smart. Um, primarily because we do have the diplomatic annexation cost minus 15% for all vassals. So... If I was to couple that with, say, influence, right? The demanding accession cost here, it's minus 40% points to annex any vassal. So conquering India through vassals would actually be pretty smart. But I think the next idea group we're going to go for is going to be diplomatic for the province war score cost. Well, actually, maybe we will go influence, actually. Maybe we'll go influence first and then diplomatic. Um, I was going to go administrative, but, you know, it actually makes less sense now that I think about it. Um, I, I'd actually probably like another military D group, either quality for the army and the discipline and the buffs or quantity for the manpower recovery speed. Cause we do have a pretty large manpower pool. It's just, we're going to war so often that we never really have troops available for anything. So I don't know. Um, we're just, we're just going to be at peace for a bit. Let's just go, let the, let some time tick by. Um, we'll consider what our next moves are going to be. I was actually thinking of attacking the Ottomans, calling in the Commonwealth and France and then attacking Holland as well in like a separate war. And having him force force him to give me his colonies in the in the new world. Eventually, we'll have to attack Spain um, again. But it's just I kind of want to deal with the Ottomans first, and I also want to get my ass into India. I want to be in India conquering stuff. So I'm gonna keep an eye on this disaster here. <clears throat> it's going up by three percent every month. So we need an event that lowers the influence of the burgers, preferably. We've got five, seven, and eight because our ruler. William the fourth Henry de Valois 141 he's not that great I'd actually I wouldn't mind abdicating him and actually having um Ernest Augustus de Valois 623 in charge but I don't know I mean a 141 is not bad it's well it's actually pretty average this guy's much better he's 8 9 and 11 yeah so this guy's six monarch points this guy's 11 it's just a five power a month it's actually a pretty big deal you know I might want to get this too I like the trade efficiency. It makes us a lot of money. Yeah, it's just the burgers are mad. Trade steering as well goes up. This is good trade power abroad. We also get an extra merchant from that. Actually, we have another merchant because I believe of a... Um, I believe because of a colonial nation. Let's take a look around here. Where do we need merchants? We have mostly all the merchants taken care of. Um... I guess over here, because we are gonna be we are gonna be here in Australia. And everything goes to Malika and then it goes back over here to Zanzibar. So I guess we transfer troop power from here. So yeah, part of me wants to invade the Maldives right now. We actually can. I think I also am fabricating on Malabar. So <clears throat> we have bases in um the Comoros. And then we also have bases now in Australia. So I don't know. I mean I'm willing to What's going on over here? Uh, you're with Mujaha Pete in Japan. Holy shit. Okay. Japanese reconquest of the Kurils. What? What is going on over here? I don't even know. Something weird is going on to Mamlux. We're at plus three stability right now. We're gonna have some separatists, I think, in... Well, probably not. Probably not, actually. We're capped out on... Diplo. Alright. Captain on Diplo. That makes me think that we're probably just having an excess of Diplo points, so we're gonna go and take this trade efficiency. Um, wow, look at that. Just 10% increases our income by, like, 
Fucking seven ducats. It's pretty good. I like free money. Free money's good. Uh, what are we converting right now? Are we still coring stuff? Yeah, we're still coring um, what we conquered from Egypt. Um, if I wanted to, I couldn't fade Tunis, but I don't really want to. Don't really want to. We have army maintenance down right now. Um, we have a lot of manpower. I should probably get up to the force limit and start training troops and stuff. I think we have our main force right here. This is 28, 4, and 25. Combat width is 32. What's over here? So, yeah, this guy could use some artillery if you want to get him some artillery. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, the disaster is about 50% right now. And... Okay, we just finished one of our colonies over here. Let's keep colonizing in Australia. Once we get all of Australia taken care of, then I can probably go for back for the New World. Um, still don't know what to do here. Who is Malabar allied with? Oh no, he doesn't have any allies. His independence is guaranteed by Bengal, though. Uh, how strong is Bengal? Damn, 58,000. Okay, so that'll be something. That'll be interesting. 154% war score for a full annexation. So taking either influence or... Well, no, actually diplomatic would make that war much cheaper. Um, at tech 23, we get... At tech 23, we get... Oh, are you serious? Oh, that's right. We can't claim his throne because we don't have enough prestige. Okay, so if this guy dies, a 414, he's only 17 years old, but if he dies, we get a personal union on France. Dude, that'd be bomb. Munster's got a disputed succession. Hmm. I really don't want to have to revoke anything from these guys. It's going to be kind of annoying. Hmm. I mean, what do they control? Let me probably try and take these two. <clears throat> I think I do have an estate's map mode somewhere. Oh yeah, there it is. It's under states and territories. Okay, so they control they control three provinces. Let's remove revoke Sussex. So if I was to take if I was to get rid of Sussex, Lothian, and Ayrshire, we'd be fine. So I guess we're gonna do that. <clears throat> we're gonna be facing revolts though, unfortunately. French conquest of Kilwa against Kilwa. We're gonna be fighting Kilwa, Malindi, and Mogadishu. Okay. And that means um, now that we can attack, let's go to, let's grab an, uh, an admiral. We can attack Holland because if you're allied into a war with one of your allies, let's protect tree, the English Channel. And then you guys, 30, 40, 55. Okay, that's a pretty damn strong fleet. I have 30, only 30 heavies? I feel like I need more. Holy shit, actually, France has more heavies. <laughs> yeah, France has actually way more heavies than us. Okay, so France, in theory, could actually rival the Royal Navy. I don't know if I'm okay with that. We should get more. Let me do, like, 20 more. Oh, here we go. We already have a template for him. Oh, we don't have money yet, but... Okay, so we attack Holland. Now. Well, shit, I still have this... Alright, fine. Um... Yeah, let's come over here and just take care of the burgers real fast. Because they have, they have too much influence on us, we're going to get this disaster, which I don't want. We probably need more transports, too, actually. Um, let me do, like, ten more. Let me do ten more transports, and then we'll do twenty... Twenty, um, heavy ships when we can. Do we need to upgrade this fleet? No. You know, for a fully maintained army and navy, we actually really don't make a lot of money. A 25 ducat surplus is not very much. Okay, there we go. The disaster should be stopped now. Okay. 
Okay, so we declare war on Holland. France cannot join. He might maybe be called in later. I don't know, actually. It's kind of an interesting one. Let's see if we can wrap up this war really, really fast. I think I may have to declare. Do I declare on the colony? Does he even have a colony out here? He, well, no, not, not necessarily, no. Um, I mean, it's still a colonial CB one way or another. Technically. So, yeah, let's just, let's just do this really fast. We won't call anybody in. Mines apparently is going to protect him. What the hell is Mines, anyway? Oh, it's this dude. He's actually fairly large. Holy shit, he's actually allied with Austrian stuff. Hmm. All of Europe is Protestant, which is a bull. Alright. Yeah, I mean, we can take him on. That's fine. We have to fight Germany. That's fine. Let me just get a quick occupation list, dude. Alright, so we'll find all that. Oopsies. Yeah, we'll do okay. We'll do just fine. Really? I can call in France into this war? Okay, that'll that'll ensure that he never he never defends Holland. Because technically he is the defender of the faith. Or maybe he was defender of the faith, maybe he's not anymore. I guess that would make I, I guess yeah, I guess that would make the most sense is if he was the defender of the faith, but now he's not. Right? Since we're in hostile territory, um I could actually take yeah, take take that and take that. Let's get better cannons, gallop cavalry, still have Highlanders inventory because we're Scottish. Okay, we're fin finishing up some colonies over here. We don't need Sweden. Don't need speed into speed succession. Uh, okay, dude, really? If I get a personal union on France, that's gonna basically just change this campaign. <laughs> it's gonna be super crazy. Savoy's vassal of France, so they're gonna be open out here. <clears throat> There's a lot of Austrians in Naples. Unfortunatamente. Elizabeth Wilbraham, the architect and uh, creator of the Dutch Baroque st uh, style of architecture, Peter Post, met her when she visited the Netherlands. Cool. Sure, yeah, construction cost for all structures goes down. Nice. That's good. Yeah, let's, um... Let's help Savoy siege down... Oh, no, never mind. We have to siege down Ultrick then. We probably will be playing, um... Oh, fuck. We probably will play a Netherlands game one of these days. People were, um, I did a vote on YouTube and most people said they wanted to see the Netherlands, so. Considering we're ahead of military tech, I'm actually going to speed up the siege. I'm going to do a, uh, an artillery barrage. Let's see, what's up with the nobility? Um, no, can't get a general. Never mind. I can do that. All you have. Mm. Let's talk about the French a little bit because he probably has most of his troops in um, Kiowa. Damn. Let's see, Aprobane. Aprobane is a restoration era English writer and one of the first English women to make a career out of it, but she has a secret. She's also a spy for our ruler. Time to fabricate claims or we get spy network construction at half cost. Um, uh, I mean, neither of those is particularly appealing to me. Yeah, so you're going to concede Eastern America. That's what we need to look for. So, Austria is going to occupy Naples, unfortunately, but... As long as I can take care of everything here, I think we should be fine. He's already locked in there. We've got a full combat width. We've got more artillery. He's got a lot of cab. I'll give him that. So we have 115 discipline, 5.1 morale, 2.5 tactics. We got a 
crossing penalty. Uh, let's see. Who we, well, we should do pretty good because we do better pips one way or another. He's got 9 to an 8. He's got a 2 to a 9. Jesus. Naples joined in here. He's got a 2-5-2 two, two general. Not bad. Naples to particularists in Naples. Yeah, we lost more than we killed. Well, not necessarily. Does France not have... Yeah, these are like level 4 forts. We have level 6 forts in the world. I don't get it. Why isn't he upgraded his forts? It's kind of important. I don't know. We have another fucking disaster? Are you serious, dude? What in the balls? How is this possible? Alright, let's make some states in the Western Mediterranean. See if I can, like, reduce the burger influence or something. That may work. I'm just keeping it out for the Austrians, wherever they may be. We've got troops in Egypt we're not using, but, I mean, whoopsies. Uh, what the hell happened here? Whoa, my monitor just like accidentally turned off. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, we're back. That was strange. Okay, that was a little weird. Yeah, like the cables are sensitive when I touch when I touch my cables. Took like a lot of attrition, unfortunately. I wonder how we'll do against the Austrians. I'm actually not sure. Damn it, dude! Seventy-one percent on this. Shit. What's our uh, what's our siege ability? Twenty-seven days. That's not bad. Oh my god, man! Really, seventy-one percent game, dude. Come on. Fuck you, game. It's gonna be defensive terrain. Let's see. He's got 5.8 morale. He Somehow he has more tactics than us, dude. Oh, you know what? That's because we're using Naples tactics. God damn it. I'd say fuck that. We're using Naples tactics. I don't like that. Uh, apparently, Braven is independent. That's curious. It's a little strange. Um, we get a defensive advantage here. Let's see how this goes. We have way less morale, but we do a number this guy our combat with is not great though. We should do pretty good. The morale the the Austrian front line just cracked. We an okay fucking range. We probably could use more cav. French conquest of Kiowa, Melindy just got pieced out. We have seven. Uh, there's menu factories. Wow, we actually did not get the menu factories institution. Interesting. Let's build some. Actually, yeah, our menu factories are really cheap. How expensive are they? Holy shit, I can build menu factories at only 352 ducats. That is pretty nuts. Really, you're gonna come in here? He's got 26,000 inventory, 10,000 artillery, 1,000 cavalry. Okay, he gets a river crossing, I think. He's got three maneuver. We no, no, never mind. No, he doesn't. Um, you gotta be kidding me, dude. I hope this doesn't fire. Seriously, I don't think it will, but I think this one's gonna come down to rolls. We have a eight to a three, six to a one. Oh shit, he's gonna get reinforced. A 2 to an 8? 
No, we were doing the front row. We should probably leave. Alright, let's go over here. Uh, coldest period of the Little Ice Age. Damn it, France, you dumbass. Fly, you fools. Are we taking the war goal yet? Oh, we do. Um, wait a minute. Psych. All right, let's punish for a second. Let's go grab the troops in. Oh no, actually, maybe we could. Maybe we could go support Naples. Maybe we could go support Naples. France is getting kind of wrecked, actually. Um. Or, like, I mean, I could shoot for... I could theoretically land in Karn... No, I actually, I might actually straight up be able to get to Vienna. If I landed in, like, Istria or Lika or something? Okay. Why don't we go to the Mediterranean, then? Seize. Pequot. Get some claims on Malabar. Okay, so Bengal and Malabar allied. This is, uh, what is this, 34? I can do 24, 8, and 30. Uh, I don't think, it, well, do I have transports for that? I think I do. That's 32 combat width. Is that the combat width? Is 32 or 34? No, it is 34. So, we're gonna do... twenty-six, eight, and 30. You guys are on the transports. And... Let's see, what cost, what's costing us the most right now? Battles, we do control the war goal. I think the occupation of, of these forts, though, is hurting us. Consensa, as well as the occupations over here. Let's see if I can go for Vienna real fast. I think I can, probably. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, let me see if, let me see if, um, hmm. Maybe the Lucan Separatists? Ah, oh, shit. We lost the, we lost the uh, occupation of the capital. Okay, so you can get to Vienna from here. All right, let's try and siege down Vienna real quick then. Let's see if we can do See if we can knock out the Austrians. Jesus Christ, burgers. Don't understand. Ooh, it took quite a bit of attrition, this naval landing. Um, Let's take this siege ability. I want these two, the Discipline and the Land Force Limit, that's gonna be awesome. What's our Siege Day ticks right now? 31 days? That's pretty good. Damn, we took Vienna instantly. Knock out Austria, there we go. Okay, now we go for Mines. Yeah! Base tax is always good, the power of Texas. So let's knock out Mines real fast by going for his capital. All diplomat. Uh, who else is left? Mines, Munster, and Saxony. Okay. So the HRE Emperor has quite a few allies. Is that what you're telling me? There we go. Burgers are no longer disloyal. Or into influential. 
Um, the creation of the Bank of England? Bank of England was founded in 1694. It soon enjoyed a reputation of seriousness and reliability. Ooh, during inflation, four to five. Innovativeness. Sweet. I'll take it. Let's go for some money. I like manufactories. Let's keep building them. They're pretty damn cheap right now. We have, we have uh, cost reduction modifiers for a bit, so. Uh, looks like the French pieced out, which is fine. I'm not concerned about that too much. Come on, guys. Take this fort, will you? Siege, yeah, only 29 days siege ticks here. Okay. What else could I actually do to the, to the Dutch? Somebody actually suggested... This isn't that, that, like, well, I mean, it is pretty historical, but it's not necessarily a crazy idea. Somebody suggested that we um, vassalize Holland. I mean, it's not a bad idea. It's just, I'm too close to the continent, you know, but at the same time, Holland is pretty damn annoying. <laughs> like, he keeps colonizing in Eastern America. He keeps colonizing in Canada and shit like that. Like, pushing him out actually would be pretty smart. Uh, we're about to take the fort anyway. We might as well just... You know. Damn it. I think we have to get these guys back to our land and then we and then exile them. So the Ottomans are going for the Ottomans are going for the Mamluks. You know what could happen is the Mamluks get fully annexed, and we release the Mamluks up here and we use the reconquest CB. That's actually a really good idea. Because it would basically be... Yeah, that would actually work out really good. We could do that. It's not a bad idea. I don't know. Uh, apparently Austria is no longer a great power. I was not aware of that. All right, let's go land in the capital one more time. These guys have pretenders. Weird. Knowledge sharing. I'm surprised we haven't actually lost that much manpower. Somehow we lost 55,000 troops, but I have manpower remaining. That's a little weird. All right, we got Australia. Let's colonize the rest of it. Um, let's have a diplomat work with one of our own subject countries. Uh, we got a mission fulfilled. What mission? Do oh, I think we got the, uh, yeah, this, where is it? Colonize Canada. We already did that. Chart the Southern Seas. Yeah. Colonize the Spice Islands. We get a claim on Kutai, Brunei, and the West Bengal area, apparently. We can conquer Bengal. Okay. We're going to go for Inland India, control the Hansa, grow the channel, monopolize the channel. What does this do? Goes to Holland. Oh. Okay.
I mean, really, what would I be able to do to the Dutch? I can't. Well. Can't vassalize you. Almost. Almost. So he's going to concede colonial Eastern America. Pay 280 ducats, war reps. I theoretically could actually annex Holland. One of these days. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Or I could take, like, something over here. Friesland. You know? Nah, we won't do that for now. Okay, so you're gonna be forced to give me 10% war reps. Give me some money. Concede Colonial Eastern America. We are incorruptible. Spirit to core. Okay. We have the 13 colonies. Liberty, desire, and subjects. We get unified administration. Sick. Liberty, desire, uh, liberty, desire, and subjects goes down. That's pretty good. Okay, Naples. You've got some debt. Let's pay off your debt. Are we working on the manufacturing institution? Yep, it's going to take a little while, but that's okay. So we got New Scotland, the Hudson Bay. And Cuba. And we could attack for Portuguese Colombia. Somebody said that Spain had plans to colonize Panama, so we could claim that Portuguese Colombia could be Saladonia. Apparently was the... Uh, was its name. We're still in this war with Kiowa? Holy shit. Damn, France. Okay. Nice. Okay, so we have, uh, apparently we have a 97 force limit now. Okay, not bad. Um, this is 26, 8, and 30. It's a pretty damn good stack. This is... Let's get 4 cav. And then... Twenty and four is thirty-two. That's fine. Thirty-two. The thirty and four. Okay, we're a little bit of above the force, but that's all right. So this is twenty-six and eight. That's thirty-four, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, manpower is going to come back. <clears throat> Naples asks for help. Sure. Uh, actually, you know, he could use some help. Well, no, against those pretenders, he should be okay. Russia and Tuscany. Oh, okay. So, oh, that's right. So, Spain is no longer allied to Austria. So, it'd be Russia and Tuscany in the Spanish Louisiana and Spanish West Indies versus me and France. Are you still at war with Kilwa? You are. He hasn't really made any progress there, has he? Although he has occupied all of Madagascar, that's true. Does he have claims on Madagascar? Is that what he attacked for? No, he's actually got claims here. That's a little strange. So, we have kind of a choice. Um, the Ottomans took a lot of stuff over here. Holy shit. Wow. I could actually vassalize the Memlooks. If I was somehow able to get into a war with them, I could actually vassalize them. That is tempting. That is a tempting offer. What is it? How strong are... Dude, the Ottomans have 230,000. Jesus Christ. Let's get our 20 Carrix. That is insanity, dude. Let's have, um, let's have you guys protect trade for now.
Oh, so we already have, yeah, so we have 30 characters here, 66 transports. We're gonna have 50 characters and then, like, no, we're still sticking with 66 transports, yeah. Okay. So we're making a lot of money from protecting trade and things. So, we have, a, we have a couple options, actually. So, we can go to war with Spain, because I still do want to take Sicily. I still do want to take Sicily. Uh, we need to declare in the next two years if we want to do that. We could actually probably beat Russia and Spain pretty easily. I don't have any manpower, but me and France should be able to take on Spain relatively easily. Or, we turn the tables on the Ottomans. Uh, the Commonwealth is in debt, apparently. Maybe I can pay off his debt. Did you go to war with somebody? That's weird. Um, well, what if we attacked here? Commonwealth? The Commonwealth go would come in if we used, if he doesn't have any debt. We have enough favors. That's a little interesting. So France has the most morale. Carcoin Lu and like people like Japan are not far behind. Who's got the most discipline? The Ottomans have 121% discipline. And Lubeck, Saxony, me. What about uh, what about Russia? Russia's not maintaining the navy. He's got 107 discipline. We have better siege ability. He's got better defensiveness. We have way more professionalism. We have more tradition. Okay, and then I have forts up here anyway. Oh, dude, really? There's a Regency Council here? Holy crap. That is insanity. We still have the Royal Marriage of Portugal, huh? Okay, all right. Well, I mean, we're going to take a break here. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do just yet. What? What is this? Russia, North Germany. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the Annex Pomerania. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe going after Sicily is not so important as I think. I'd like to have it, though. But maybe attacking the Ottomans is better. The thing is, is I would probably almost certainly need Commonwealth support. I should try and help this guy pay off his debt. Sweden's in debt as well. France is fine. Or we just start going after India. I could attack the Maldives and then go after Malabar. We'd have to fight Bengal. Is Bengal a great power? Fucking shite he is, actually. Got a lot of troops, too. He has 56,000, 83 forcemen. Although, with our technology, we should be able to walk over these guys. Okay. You know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to begin our conquest of India, I think. <clears throat> yeah. I think that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave alone. I'm going to leave Spain and the Ottomans alone for now. I want to conquer I want to conquer India. We'll come back for Egypt a little later. Yeah. And then we just took, you know, we just took Eastern America from... From um, the Dutch. You could probably like start an invasion of the Choctaw and stuff. Interesting. So, wait, so who is Cuba? Who's got claims on Choctaw? Cuba. So you also have claims, you have claims here. Could you beat them? I wonder if Cuba could beat Portuguese Colombia. You probably could. That'd be kind of cool. I could also just declare the war myself. Well, you can't concede colonial Colombia to me, right?
Yeah, I can't ask him to concede Colonial Columbia because we don't have a Colonial Region there myself. What I could do, though... Hmm. Holland move for Honduras. Spanish West Indies here. Spanish Louisiana. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, I'm going to take a break here, guys. Yep. I'm going to take a break here. We'll probably get our conquest of India here pretty soon. So thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks so much.